Oof. Oh my God. Oh, I don't know if I can replace this. I don't know, because that is, that is insanely ripped. Uh, there's ripped. I tell you what. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, right? Today we're not on a golf course. Well, we are on a golf course, but we're not playing golf. It's not a break 80. Today we're actually going to do a review. I know. That sounds like, what, Gaz is going to do reviews? Gaz isn't a pro. Gaz isn't this, Gaz isn't that. I know, and that is exactly my point. I have literally fell in the trap so much of watching reviews online back even a couple of years ago when I was like, ooh, driving iron, are they, are they any good? And I would literally watch someone on a review and then nailing it every single time. They didn't really say if it was good. They didn't really say it was bad, but it just looked good. So I was like, if he can hit it, I can hit it. I'd go out, I'd buy a tailor-made UDI friggin' two iron, nearly break my hand when I tried to hit it. I watched more and more reviews, obviously every golfer and drivers come out and stuff, and there is some people on YouTube that absolutely nail them. There's just not that many. That made me think, obviously with the sponsor from American Golf, I've got access to them clubs now. I've got access to the, the drivers, the irons and stuff like that. I never used to. I wanna do honest reviews. No one is paying me to say anything. I'm not sponsored by any like club brands so I haven't got to be biased because you've got to be careful when you're watching these reviews these people are probably getting paid or they're being biased because they get the clubs off them and they can't really say they're bad don't get me wrong I could say this Callaway club is absolutely crap next month I could be saying this Callaway club is unbelievable I think it just needs that I think we just need an amateur golfer like myself, you've watched my journey. I just want to be honest and give an honest review. So today is the first of the honest reviews. It's all about how an amateur golfer finds these clubs on the day and if it's worth you spending your hard earned money. Right, without further ado, let's see what we're testing. So you might remember I actually did a giveaway for this for the two iron UDI. The P791 is its predecessor. Compared to the old TaylorMade Drive 9, this is 67% less dense and filled with speed foam. Again, this all sounds amazing, but am I gonna be able to hit it? I think we're gonna have to test it on the track man, get some numbers, then get on the course and see exactly where this would come into play. For me, I am thinking my bad shot with my hybrid is something's a little bit hooky. I can really send one off right with my hybrid, but when I nail my hybrid, it's unbelievable. I'd love this to be going about 220 yards for me and just a fairway finder. My four iron is good for it at the minute, but this will be an extra 20, 30 yards. So I really want this to be good. Like I really want it to be good because the idea of a drive nine just sounds amazing. Oh my. God. So what is the UDI? This one is a three driving iron. And to be fair, Rory McIlroy had this in his bag at the open, which has also turned a lot of heads. The Stealth UDI powered by speed form air for a penetrating ball flight, optimal distance and precision playability. Okay, but how often do we hear that? The Stealth UDI offers a traditional address view with tour inspiring shaping a narrower sole width compared to the dhy which we'll look at in a bit so for me i'm thinking i hit my four iron all right can this be the answer to maybe me instead of my hybrid oh my god that has gone a lot higher than I thought That is literally spun 3,900. Ignore the iPad, by the way, to my daughters. 3,900, it carried 213, it, la it went 232, smash factor 146. Obviously, you've got all this on your screen. So straight away, for me, I, that, I couldn't feel that off the face. It didn't feel like my old two iron was really hard to hit. And by the way, I haven't been paid off tailor-made. I definitely haven't been paid off anyone. This is totally honest. That felt good. Oh. I've fallen off him a little bit. That wasn't my best strike. The good thing is, right, if that was a fairway, I would be on it. Oh my God, man. That 
is nailed. This is my um, hybrid at the minute. It's a 20 degree three. That is a 20 degree three. And this is actually quite a forgiving hybrid. Obviously, it's got my shafting and stuff like that. The Rogue Pro. So it's the newest one out. Is this going to go further or is it going to go the same? I've hit that a little bit bad and it's gone a lot more right. So that definitely hasn't gone as far because it's a bad strike. Oh, I don't know if I can replace this. I don't know because that is that is insanely ripped. Uh, there's ripped. I tell you what, 247 yards carry 272 total. So obviously I'm 22 yards further with this, but my bad shot with my hybrid is a lot worse. What would you do? Sacrifice 20 yards with your hybrid? Right, so next, that's the UDI. The UDI is, it says, for better ball strikers, which I understand because it's a little bit less forgiving compared to this. This is the TaylorMade Stealth DHY. So this to me is obviously more of, that's like a driving iron. This is more of a driving hybrid. It's a lot more forgiving. Again, it's got all the speed forming, all the technical stuff. It's just a bit, a bit more forgiving, a bit more fat out and bulkier. It is very, very bulky. But again, if it's gonna be a forgiveness and I'm gonna get a better strike, could this sneak into my bag instead of my hybrid it all depends how well i hit both of these it looks very fat but it doesn't look awfully fat but again it's a driving hybrid this would probably be for mid to high handicappers i reckon this could be a lot better out of the semi rough on a par five compared to that this also does come in a three four five iron oh i struggled with that there i struggled that was a bit weird. Oh, that's hooked into someone's garden. I didn't smash any windows, but that is a ball lost. That's gone right. But again, it wouldn't be far off a fairway. In fact, no, that would probably be gone. Hmm. Right, so I've just got Tom in. Because I say Tom, we've watched Tom play, he's a 22 handicapper. So I wanted to see, Tom, for you, what you think of this club, yeah? Yeah, so I'm going with the hybrid first, this should be. This should be your club, yeah. driving hybrid, off the tee. Forget all that driver going everywhere. This is your new club, your driving iron. Oh, you've ripped that though. How'd that feel? Quite good, it feels quite heavy though. Heavy. The club head feels really heavy, yeah. It feels like I'm swinging like a massive mallet on the end. It does feel in between a hybrid and an iron, but it feels so heavy. Right, so okay. Heavy. Well, you hit that 188 yards. It's not that far, is it, really, for no. you? I didn't, I didn't catch it amazingly. Right, try the other one. Try the UDI. You're still ripping them, the little baby draws. How far's that gone? Two, two, three, carry. Yeah, so as you can see on the screen, Tom's just hit that 244. Yeah. What do you think about that? Which for me, playing off like, realistic of probably like 18. But I mean, why, why, would, why would I ever hit driver? A tee shot, a bit under pressure, as if I was actually playing around a golf. And I've got the UDI. It's a perfect, I've kept the perfect hole for it. This is the, uh, the 15th at Howley. And I've just absolutely sliced it right. Ah, so under pressure, it's actually quite a hard club to hit. All gone right. Weird. So let's get back to the range. But under pressure, with just one golf ball each, they both went right. Bad strikes from both. Tillamade claim that. You can go for a par five in two. So here it is, nice fairway. My ball's just landed roughly there. Not sitting nice, not sitting bad. It's par five. I've still got 220 yards in. Can I hit this off the deck? And the answer is no. The answer is absolutely not. <laughs> 
<laughs> right. Again, that's the UDI. For me, this would have to be club just with the tee. I physically can't do it. I just can't do it off the ground. I don't know what it is. I'm going to try the DHY because that is the more forgiven one. Yep. See, I did struggle with off the tee at the first. I did start hitting it a bit better. But now, all of a sudden, I get why this is the more forgiven one because that has gotten 244 yards in total, 213 yards carry, and it didn't actually feel... It was probably the similar strike to what I've just been hitting. I've hooked that in someone's garden again. Hit a tree. My opinions on driving irons, I love the thought of them, and I have got a big decision to make. Personally, this 320 um, UDI might possibly go in my bag, just because I think off the tee, this is bigger than my four iron, 252 yards total, and it went pretty much straight every time. My hybrid, I do rip it. However, it can go a bit left and right. Same with my four wood, I either rip it or goes left and right. And driver, on a good day, it's unbelievable, but can this get rid of the sixes and sevens off my cord? I still think a hybrid is easier club to hit for a high handicap, but Tom did rip it. I think the interesting thing about DHY is, like we said on the screen earlier, this comes in a three or four or five. So maybe the four or five would be a little bit of a shorter club, um, a lot more forgiving and just a lot better. So DHY, if you struggle hitting your hybrid um, and you want something you can also hit off the fairway, definitely have a look at the DHY. If you're a better ball striker, this could really, really bring your score down if you haven't already got a driving iron. I hope you've enjoyed my honest review and my honest shots. A couple of facts in there, but hey, it's an honest review. We've got to leave them in. That, that's my first impressions. I think that's what's really important. Let me know in the comments how you found this review. Please let me know how I can improve. And I'll always do my best to bring the utmost honesty because that's what it's all about. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.